Hey, what up, y'all? So today I'm working on upper body, as you can see here I'm setting up, with 30 pound change, uh, and that's 10 on each side. But before I get into all that, I just want to stress the importance of actually recording most, if not all, of your lifts, especially if you're trying to refine a technique. I highly, highly, highly recommend just recording yourself. I know some of you might feel like kind of awkward or might feel like, dude, what the hell are people going to think of me if they see me like recording myself? Like, how fucking narcissistic am I? But fuck all that shit. Seriously, it's all about refining and perfecting the technique because as I recorded myself, all I was thinking about was, okay, I want to get better, I want to get my numbers up, because as you can see here, I had to put down the 10, because that was just way too heavy with these 30 pound chains on each side. So, as I looked at my technique, I noticed a lot of things that I was doing wrong. First, for example, if you haven't noticed, every time I grip the bar, my fingers start twitching and like I, I'm like fixing my grip and whatnot, and what I notice now is, as soon as you unrack the bar, your body is completely tight and solid. And as soon as you let go of any part of your body, you can't get the same strength back when you try to tighten up again. For example, if you're squatting, you get to the bottom of your squat and let's say you just exhale. Now imagine exhaling, letting loose of all those muscles, then trying to tighten back up and then getting out of the hole. That's exactly what you're trying to do when you're benching. Look at my fingers, right there. Like, why do I do that? So instead of keeping tight, I lose the force that I had when I initially set up, and then I'm trying to like get it back. Ain't gonna happen. Another thing that I noticed was I wouldn't, I like I would hear people say, all right, utilize your lats, spread your lats, like engage your lats. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? I don't even know what that means. So specifically for my females out there, what you can imagine is, most of you girls know what a clutch is, right? So it's kind of like a purse, imagine it without the straps. So when you put a clutch, or when you're trying to hold the clutch, you don't hold it with your hands, you're actually holding it underneath your arms. So imagine flexing that, that muscle on the side, well, your lat obviously, and then pressing that against your arm where, you, where there's like no gaps. Like if you try to stick freaking a credit card in there, it's not gonna happen. So that is literally what you want to feel when you're benching, especially when you unwrap the weight, you want to feel your lats and the side of your, your arms pressing up against each other. Another thing that I noticed is I wouldn't bend the bar. What that, what that means is as soon as I would unwrap it, my hands would pretty much stay in a neutral position. But now what I do, I imagine unracking the bar and then um, like twisting a little bit. I grip the bar as fucking hard as I can and I, I just imagine me bending the bar. So apply that and I will guarantee that just unracking it, you're gonna feel like, holy shit, this bar feels a million times lighter. Now, right here, I got stuck because my bar groove wasn't moving in a straight motion. It was like, it looked like a freaking S. And I noticed that it has like, for me at least, it's like 90% mental because as soon as I hear the thoughts in my head, say anything like, oh shit, this is kind of heavy. Oh my God, you're not breathing. Oh my God. And if I can hear all these things that my head is saying about my lift, then I'm completely not in the zone and I'm gonna fuck up. So all I do is just shut that voice up in my head and I just, I, I don't even think, I just feel it out and immediately it feels better. Here, because I have problems with getting out of the hole at least for me, so Bart was counting three seconds before it would even press my chest and then that explosion like pushing the bar straight up so that's what I was trying to perfect in this one and this technique another thing that I noticed that I was neglecting a lot of the time that I'm still kind of trying to perfect is leg drive as you can see it looks like my my pelvic area is, is kind of pushing up oh well, this is just touch and go AMRAP so you probably can't see the leg drive but imagine as soon as the bar touches your chest, oh, not doing it there either. I'm slightly doing that. You can see how like my pelvic is kind of thrusting upwards. Well, you don't want to thrust upwards and it's not coming from your pelvic area. It's actually being generated from the bottom of your feet. So it goes from the bottom of your feet, it transfers into your butt and it pushes not straight up, but it's more like pushing up, but your head is going forward. So it would be like me pushing towards Bart's crotch. 
It's like me trying to hit Bart's balls, pretty much. That's how you want it to feel. So you want to have every single part of your body tight and solid. I'm talking about your glutes. Like your glutes should make you rise off that seat. Not literally the glutes part, but you're squeezing them so hard and they're so freaking rock solid that your body naturally just raises. And again, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying your butt should leave the seat because it shouldn't, but I'm saying you're squeezing it so much that your body tends to rise. So here I am doing am reps. And this video, actually, we missed it, but this video actually made me see that I am stronger when it comes to close grip. So I'm finishing up my workout with some stabilizers right here. As uh, you can see, I'm doing dumbbell uh, seated overhead press. And this is like a double whammy because it's gonna work my shoulders and it's also gonna work on my stabilizer muscles. So it's not like a barbell, which is just one solid piece. It's a lot easier to move up and down. This, I'm working on two independent pieces, trying to make sure that they go up at the exact same time in a stable, straight movement. So, I hope you guys were able to get something out of this. But again, as always, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. All I'm trying to do is just show you my progress. Till next time, y'all. Peace. Today, I'm going to play around with lower body. Specifically here, you guys see me doing squats. And I did about five sets of six. And I started noticing a lot of different things about myself. For example,